Govinda, Govinda, Govinda. Kum, kum. Abhinath Prabhu, Nitai Goranga. Okay. Well, Australian voices bouncing around the world. Sorry, Maharaj. Dandavat. Dandavat Maharaj. Dandavat Priyabhakta Prabhu, all the way from Australia and on the other side of the world. We've got Abhinavasunda Prabhu and Kelly Gadambana just nearby. I heard Kelly singing in the temple room today and I heard Abhinava's voice in the prasadam room. While I'm here in Italy, Vila Govinda Ashram, and they were in London. How mystic can it get? Hare Krishna. Somebody's coming here behind me, maybe. Yes, Leela Shakti Didi. Good to have you with us. This is a good time to be with us, I know. Very good. So happily. And Ananda Sundari, David and I see lots and lots of devotees and headed by Devashish Prabhu, the host of our London gatherings each time. So, first of all, let us give our obeisances to all of the devotees and then Mini Vandanam. In fact, I'll give obeisances to all the devotees and then we'll pass the microphone to Devashish Prabhu because he's looking after us and he's present already with us happily. And devotees are adding in, are joining as we speak. Bancha kaupa turubhya sa kripa sin gubhya eva cha patitana pavanebhyo vaishnavebhyo namo namaha. Yes, Devashishpur. Oh, okay. Are we doing bandhanam then or what? Yes, I'm. Oh, I'm passing the microphone to you. I just oh, saw so sorry. many devotees, and I felt to pay obeisances. All right, hold on a minute. It's really taken me out of. There you go. <coughs> I can see you. <laughs> Okay, I can see each of you. <laughs> Bandeham Sri Guru, Sri Jutta Padakamalam, Sri Guru Vaishnavanscha, Sri Rupam Sagrajatam, Sahagana Raganatam Vitam Tam Sajivam, Shadaitam Sadvadutam, Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Sri Radha Krishna Padan, Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Vitangscha Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakuram Militam Dhyena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Namo Mahabadanaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Nam Negora Trise Namaha Vancha Kalpa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Yes, Maharaj. So, I'm a bit late in doing all of the um, title and of, for today and everything. I was being a bit busy and slipped my mind, in fact. But um, anyhow, the day, today's... Uh, title is The Meaning of Krishna's Flute Song Love, Ecstasy, Beauty and Charm So um, this is, I was reading this morning from, a, from The Revealed Truth which is a compilation of talks by uh, Srila, Srila Govinda Maharaj and a really super excellent book in my opinion it it uh, shows Srila Govinda Maharaj's brilliance uh, as a spiritual master and uh, as a um, a scholar of devotional um, work, and uh, and I I think it if you read it carefully you'll see that it puts him on a par with all of the greater charges uh, of our sampradaya, and so this particular um, passage. I, I like very much and um it it shows that the um the great depth of his 
um, spiritual understanding. So uh, it begins here. Sri Krishna Kaviraj Goswami has presented a very deep idea in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Kama Gayatri Mantra Rupa Hoya Krishna Swarupa Sadha Chabisha Akara Tarahoi Se Akara Chandrahoi Krishna Kare Udhoi Tri Jagat Koila Kama Maya. And this verse is from the Madhya Leela of Chaitanya Charitamrita, chapter 21, verse 125. <laughs> Here, Srila Krishna Kaviraj gives an explanation of the Karma Gayatri Mantra that we receive at the time of initiation, Diksha. Srila Krishna Kaviraj Goswami explains that there are 24 and a half syllables in the mantra. Oh, I'm hearing something. Generally, it is peaceful and agreeable to consider that there are either 24 or 25 syllables in the mantra. But Srila Vishnath Chakravati Thakur tried to understand why Srila Krishnath Kaviraj Goswami said there were 24 and a half syllables. He meditated and searched for the half syllable. When he was unable to find that half syllable, he became disturbed and began fasting. If I cannot feel the meaning of this mantra, it is unnecessary to continue living. If the meaning of this mantra will not come to me, I do not want to remain alive. I would rather die. He passed one, then two, then three days without food. Finally, on the night of the third day, Radharani herself came to him and gave him the meaning of the mantra. In the scripture, Varnagama Baswadi, you will find an explanation that the syllable Ja when followed by the syllable V, is considered a half syllable. Please be relieved and take prasadam. Do not give up your life. <laughs> In this way. This was the experience of Srila Vishwana Chakravati Thakur with this verse of Srila Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami. Srila Vishwana Chakravati Thakur was so learned but he could not understand this point made by Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami tasted the deep, deeper and deepest aspect of Krishna consciousness. But this is not the matter that I feel is necessary to discuss about this verse. Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami explains here that the Karma Gayatri Mantra is Krishna Swarup. It is non -different, a non-different form of Sri Krishna. He explains that the 24 and a half syllables in the mantra are like moons manifest within Sri Krishna's transcendental form. Krishna's face, Krishna's forehead, Krishna's eyes and so on are all described as moons. This also, however, is not the matter I feel that it is necessary to discuss. My matter is Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami's expression, Tri Jagat Koila Karma Maya. The whole universe is over flooded with karma. This is the fact. Karma means desire. And karma has two forms, selfish desire and service desire. Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami explains, Atmendriya priti vancha tare balik kama. Krishnendriya priti icha tare prema nam. From the Adi Leela, chapter 4, verse 165. The desire to satisfy one's senses is called karma or lust, and the desire to gratify Krishna's senses is prema, love. In English, we translate the word prema as love for Krishna. Actually, there is no word in English for prema. Prema means something like a mixture of love, attraction, attachment, affection, and sincere hankering. When Srila Krishnanas Kaviraj Goswami says, Tri Jagat Kaila Kama Maya, 
he means that the universe is overflooded with both karma, the desire for mundane enjoyment, and prema, the desire to lovingly serve Krishna. Karma and prema are both manifestations of Krishna's power, and like waves, they both constantly move throughout the universe. When Krishna manifests his power externally within the mundane world as karma, his power becomes the influence of Cupid, the desire for mundane enjoyment. Everyone everywhere in the mundane environment is influenced by that. Not only everyone here, everyone throughout the three worlds, Swarga, Martya and Patala, heaven, earth and hell, is influenced by it. No one can avoid Krishna's power, and his power is present everywhere within the mundane worlds of Maya's illusory environment. <clears throat> In its external manifestation as karma, selfish desire. Krishna also manif manifests his internal power within the mundane world to distribute prema. Through his personal beauty and attractiveness, he inspires the jiva souls to engage in his service. Krishna does this through the Gayatri Mantra, which gives the jiva souls a connection with him and his abode of transcendental service. It is explained in the scriptures that the Gayatri Mantra comes from Krishna's flute. Srila Guru Maharaj explained the meaning of Krishna's flute song, that is, the meaning of the Gayatri Mantra. He explained that the sound emanating from Krishna's flute is full-fledged with love, ecstasy, beauty, and charm. It attracts everyone and fills their hearts with joy. It is always sweet and produces attachment, attraction, and affection. Srila Guru Maharaj explained that Krishna is always playing everywhere in that way. He is always communicating everywhere with everyone's heart. The sound of his flute that is always, oh, sorry, the sound of his flute, that wave descends from the transcendental world with the power to capture the hearts of everyone in the three worlds and overfloods the external environment through the Gayatri Mantra. That is the divine form of Tri Jagat Kaila Karma Maya filling the universe with desire. Through that Gayatri Mantra, the Jiva souls connect to Krishna and are thrown into the wave of devotion that is filled with intense desire to satisfy Krishna. Within a second, that devotional wave can automatically lift us up to the transcendental plane like an elevator. The devotional wave can conquer our heart and give us good nourishment. Through that, we will always feel the presence of Lord Krishna in our heart, and through his service, we will feel the full happiness of our existence. Everything is within us, within our own jurisdiction. It is not necessary for us to go anywhere. What we receive from our Guru Maharaj, that is the full form of the Gayatri Mantra, is more than sufficient for us. If we can receive it properly, we will taste it and feel its divine form. So there we are. That's a very wonderful thing. Um, Srila Gurudev giving us so much hope and such a beautiful explanation that actually I don't think you'll find that kind of explanation anywhere else. And that Gurudev always very anxious for us to have the full, the full, not just meaning, but the full import of everything that Guru Maharaj wants to give to us. And this is a great example of that, how the Karma Gayatri Mantra is a non-different form with Krishna and will give us everything uh, in our relationship with him. So this is uh, what inspired today's um talk title and uh, although it was a little late I hope everybody got that and, and I hope Maharaj you were able to um, find something or are able to say something in this regard 
And that's my contribution so far for this evening. But back no. to you, Maharaj. Okay, Mar, thank you. Uh, thank you, Prabhu, very much. And by the way, this week I did get your exact quote. Last week I was looking for your quote unsuccessfully, but you weren't here. This week you're here and I did find your quote. And uh, I do have something as a backup too, because I saw that almost certainly David Sheesh will, will be will be uh, giving this quote. Sorry, my computer just asked me, am I speaking English? <laughs> it thinks I'm speaking Portuguese for some reason. Mm. Okay, I better tell it. I'm speaking English so we don't get any confusion. Okay, Google, I am speaking English. Not London English, I have to admit, but English. Okay, after taking a tube back from Green Street, <laughs> then we hear the London accent. <laughs> okay, dear devotees. So I do have something here. And so Devashish was quoted from Srila Gurudev. And I was um, looking to see from Srila Guru Maharaj so that we've got some quotes from Gurudev and from Srila Guru Maharaj too. And so a short quote is found in Sermons Volume 2. And Srila Guru Maharaj is quoting that same verse of Rundhan Nambu Brittash Chamat Priti, the verse which Devashish Prabhu um, properly uh, pronounced in the Sanskrit. So in Sermons Volume 2, Srila Guru, Srila Guru Maharaj said, so this is a short quote. <clears throat> uh, so he says, he says, the most attractive sound is the sound of his flute. So this is referring to Krishna. So the most attractive sound is the sound of Krishna's flute. Srila Rupa Goswami has given a description and then that Sanskrit verse. And then Srila Guru Maharaj is saying, so this is like a, a um, prose version, prose understanding of what the verse means. Arresting the movement of the clouds, astonishing the Gandharvas headed by Tumburu, and breaking the meditation of the sages headed by San Sananda, astonishing the heart of Lord Brahma, distracting the mind of the indomitable Baliraj within so all of this. Oh, sorry, yes distracting the mind of the indomitable Baliraj with intense ecstasies, reeling the head of Ananta, the serpent king who supports the earth planet, and piercing the covering of the universe, the vibration of Krishna's flute wandered all around. So we know this different ways to express the verse. And then Srila Guru, De Srila Guru Maharaj is saying, not directly sort of quoting the verse, explaining the verse, but saying, the sound of Krishna's flute began to reverberate. When that sound entered the ear of Brahma, he became bewildered. Oh, what can this mean? And from where is it coming? What is this? It's puzzling me. That's the thinking of Lord Brahma. Then Srila Guru Maharaj saying, Then the infinite Anantadev, who keeps unlimited universes on his lap, a chair on his lap, it says, his head began to reel. The total force who supports all these Brahmandas so many lustrous masses, the intense vibration causes even his head to reel. It attacks the heart of Radharani and the Sakhas, the friends, and the cows are also with their ears perked up, inquiring in which direction are we wanted to go. Hare Krishna. And by the way, um, in the Brihat Bhagavatamritam, 
Then Sanatana Goswami gives also descriptions of the, the sound of Krishna's flute and how it's bringing ecstasy everywhere. And about the cows, <laughs> Krishna, uh, Sanatana Goswami describes that the cows, you know, always chewing, pulling up the grass, chewing the cud, chewing, chewing, chewing like this. But the, the cows became stunned on hearing Krishna's flute. And in the ecstasy of this sound vibration, everything stopped, including the, their mouths just stopped with the grass hanging out of their mouths still, like this. And then so many uh, symptoms from the animals, the birds, the humans of all the different rasas, the different relationships with Krishna, their relationship with him. And then everyone's becoming like stunned by this sound of Krishna's flute. So the living entities, they became static. Static means still. And the moving entities, sorry, yeah, the moving entities became still. And the living in the, huh, the static still entities, like the trees, they started moving. They started to bow down because they know that Krishna is going to come past this way. And so the trees, which are normally standing still, they are moving. But the people and the animals, the birds that are normally moving, they became stunned and stayed still. And wonderful descriptions there in Brihat Bhagavatam. Brihat Bhagavatam Rita. And by the way, I couldn't resist. It's not exactly this that we're saying, but I just couldn't resist because when I was looking through, there's a short quote here also by Srila Guru Maharaj, and it just seemed to jump out at me. Srila Guru Maharaj said, To be in possession of power is a great responsibility. Love is also a responsibility, but it is unavoidable. We want love from the higher, shelter in the loving lap, in the loving consideration. We want to enter a domain where everyone will love us, a home. Home is sweet. Why? Because everyone there has some attraction and love, some blessing over us. So in other words, everyone there has some attraction and love, some blessing over us. Home is so sweet, all favorable, all loving, all trustworthy. So we want to go back to home, home, sweet, sweet home. Hare Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness. Not only I do believe, but it is, it is given to us by our Krishna conscious experts. Therefore, we know it is Krishna conscious. Hare Krishna. So these are a few words from me. But everything in the universe has been created from the flute song, if we're coming to the flute song. And... Uh, Lord Brahma, his initiation was through the sound of the flute. And so everything, starting with Lord Krishna and his sound connection into this world, then everything has been produced here. And everything is meant for Krishna, not for us. And Mahaprabhu gave, came with that message that everything is meant for Krishna and we will waken up that consciousness by chanting Krishna's name. So the sound of Krishna's flute, it is the most wonderful sound. We just heard Srila Guru Maharaj say that. It's the most wonderful sound. And Brahma's own head was reeling and spinning to understand what that is. 
we can then perhaps come to the West London Mat Maharaj because the devotees are there. And now I know that Abhinavasundra Prabhu was not driving the car. It probably was Saraswati. The ladies were, were having a day out, perhaps. Oh, there we are. You see Saraswati. Oh, it's Saraswati's uh, name is on the on the the uh, Zoom. So yes, Saraswati is driving, and we see the ladies in the car attending to the Zoom. So Abhinavasundra Prabhu. You are peaceful, quiet, seated in Sri Chaitanya Sarasat, Mat London chapter, and please share a little something. And I'm actually going to get another internet connection, hoping it will be a bit better. But I'll hear you. Okay, Maharaj. Well, actually, for once, I have found something which is relevant. Anyway, this is uh, out of Golden Reflections, and uh, it's Srila Gurudev just uh, talking about the, the Gayatri Mantra and, uh, and the, uh, the Mott logo. So the start of it is Gayatri Muralista Ketra Dhanam Radha Param Dimahi. Srila Gurmaraj composed this verse, and only he is able to do so only he is able to. I've never seen in any book from Mahaprabhu's time right up to Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's time the type of explanation of Gayatri as given by Srila Guru Maharaj. Actually, Mahaprabhu is our parent, and the seeds came from Krishna. Madhavendra Puri was the sprout of those seeds. Mahaprabhu was the actual tree. And the fruits are Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, and others. Srila Gurmaj is also in the line of the fruits. It is not that the persons are the fruits, but what they gave are the fruits of Mahaprabhu's conception. Om is the very gist of Gayatri, and from that Om come merciful rays like the rays of the sun. Sri Sitanya Saraswat Mot, where always some kirtan is going on, is inside the flute of Krishna, and from there comes this sound, Om. Om, the meaning of Gayatri, is coming from Sri Titanya Saraswat Mot, and from here the explanation of Gayatri has been given by Srila Gurmaj. The position of Srila Gurmaj is like water, and the servitors of Sri Titanya Saraswat Mot are like lotuses, and the position of the worshipful supreme personality of Godhead is the divine form of Radha Krishna, Om. Everything is within Om. Om is coming from the flute of Krishna, and the meaning of Om, of Gayatri, is Gayatri Moralista Kirtanandanam Radha Parandimahi. Krishna's flute does not make any other tune except the glorification of Srimati Radharani, and that is the real meaning and gist of the Gayatri Mantra. The sun's merciful rays give nourishment to the lotus, but if there is no water, then the lotus must become burnt by the rays of the sun. The flute is the special symbol of Sri Taitanya Saraswat Mot. Before we adopted the flute as our symbol, it was not to be found anywhere. Now many others also have copied this, but it first came from here, Sri Taitanya Saraswat Mot. What is the song of the flute? It is the glorification of Sri Mati Radharani by Sri Krishna. And this is depicted in the logo of Sri Titanya Saraswati. So that's my little contribution. Uh, if no. out there. And while you were reading that, indeed, Sankirtan was going on in Sri Chaitanya Saraswati Mat. Sri Chaitanya Sarasat Mat, Vira Govinda, because they were all chanting loudly here in the temple room. And that um, the uh, flute is also now in the chakra on top of the temple. And we were reminded just recently on some of our travels that in India, then a Vishnu temple, if you look from outside, what 
whose temple is this if you're going somewhere if you look on the dome the tradition for a Vishnu temple or temple of Krishna traditionally will have Krishna's Sudarshan chakra on the top of the dome and Shiva temple has a trident other temples have different insignias but uh, that was the tradition but in Chaitanya Sarasat Maharaj, Srila Guru Maharaj he instructed but we will have the chakra as is traditional but with the flute and so Srila Guru Maharaj was the first one and Gurudev explained this the first one to make that uh, chakra with the flute to signify the Krishna temple and then similarly so many have copied that Hare Krishna as Gurudev was like saying people copy what Guru Maharaj did without necessarily giving credit to where it came from can you hear me yes, yes ma'am Oh, you can? Okay. I have another internet connection. I didn't know with. Yeah, no, it's very good. It's clear. clear. Okay, good. Hare Krishna. And on that flute, the flute that is shown on the mat logo, it is an elephant's head. Many to many devotees said, shouldn't it be a fish? Shouldn't it be a fish? And Guru said, no, it's an elephant. <laughs> it was not that uh, that logo also of the mat was not made whimsically Guru Urshila Gurudev he <coughs> saw we want a logo he said we want a logo for Chaitanya Sarasat Mat and then bit by bit he was sketching his himself with the pen and paper uh, pencil and paper mainly he was sketching himself and putting into like visual form and then asking, okay, so now you make this, it's like this you make and bring to me. And then on the computer using, for those of you who are really old, Mac Draw, an application which kind of came with the Macs in the olden days. And it was interesting to try to, make a design that you want to make and you had to make it by putting some circle covering it up with another circle you know putting things on top of other things to to make the shapes that you wanted but we would we would make that design that gurudev is showing and then he evolved that and we said about the letters a little time ago that the letters gurudev some of them he took several days to make but the logo was probably more like two weeks or three weeks. Bit by bit, Gurudev adjusting, Gurudev adjusting, then a couple of days later, Gurudev adjusting. And then when the final logo came, then Srila Gurudev was very satisfied. This is our logo. And then, and Gurudev said, the logo can go everywhere. Because then we see, you know, it's got Radharani's name on the front also, so on the logo. So we said, Guru Maharaj, uh, Gurudev, can we put this on the book, on the, fr on the front, in the back of the book like this? And Gurudev said, this logo can go everywhere. And then after some time, beautifully made, it must be, well, it is certainly it was made by computer, but like embroid, embroidered logos came that you can sew onto quarter or to a backpack or something like this. Embroidered uh, quarters came uh, from Venezuela, from the Venezuelan temple. Really, really nice. But they were a variety of colors. And like in one package, maybe 20, 20 or 25 like this, they brought quite a few. But there were a variety of colors. And I mean, some of them, the, the water was red, the sky was another color like this. And I just gently asked Gurudev, Gurudev, is this okay? Can this be like be used when the, when the water's red and something is a different color? And Gurudev was happy. He said, yes, it's the logo. 
So, I mean, really, and also they were attractive. This was another you know, fact that Gurudev was happy to see. And why should water always be blue? <laughs> <laughs> and you see what uh, Abhinavas under Prabhu read just now. I mean, Gurudev very happy about that, about the logo. And he gave more explanation in some other places. In one of the Gaudiya Darshan magazines, then Gurudev gave more explanation too about the logo. Very pleased. Hare Krishna. So I see the car has returned. I won't ask where you've been, but I know it was for devotional service. It was for Sadhu Sangha. Everybody, as long as we get association of devotees. In the fresh air, Hare Krishna. Yes, any question from anybody or any contribution. And by the way, the devotees, you can see, I well, whether you can see, I'm back in Italy. And uh, very easily, by mid-morning back in Italy, before lunch, and spent the morning with the devotees, they wouldn't let me go. And so <laughs> there we are. And then we had lunch and had like a, f a full day here in Italy. And then I was an hour early for your, for your Zoom, in fact, because I didn't change the clocks. Let's see. Oh, Kum Kum Diri is with us. Kum Kum, you're hiding. Are you available? You're on a thumbnail. I see Kum Kum is with us. And she's she's got a lot of grace. From Srila Prabhupada, Srila Guru Maharaj, and Srila Gurudev. And she's here with us today. If it's suitable, Diri, please do share a word or two. Okay, not... She's a busy lady too, has many things to do. Hare Krishna. Devashish Prabhu. Yes, Maharaj. <laughs> what can I say? Well, sometimes I threaten devotees. If you don't ask someone, a, if you don't ask Devashish a question, maybe I'll ask him a question. So I think <laughs> it's better you ask a question. Sri Hari Prabhu, please ask Devashish Prabhu a question. Dhanavatvanams, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> what a situation you're putting me in, Maharaj. <laughs> it's, very, it's very hard to, to think of a question on the top of my head right now because I'm still like digesting everything that was said about the flute and the Gayatri and the logo and everything. <laughs> but certainly you you guys that have been for such a long time beside Srila Gurudev and beside Srila Guru Maharaj have all, all the arguments. <laughs> and you can ask a much better question than I would. <laughs> well, I can say also that what you've expressed about you know the whole topic of the 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 sound of Krishna's flute, I was actually feeling when I saw that and started looking through. I thought, well, this is really in that realm of we hear about it, but how can we really make uh, a purport or too much? It's one of those the <clears throat> department of where we hold it on our head and we worship that and with Harinam Sankitam, which is always going on in Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. And Gurudev made the logo and Gurudev explained the logo. And Gurudev also composed the uh, Govinda Kund, Giriraj Govinda Kund Arati, the Arati Jai Jai Gurudeva Arati Vishala, this Arati. And that, when you see the description that is there of what Gurudev sees, in Chaitanya Sarasatma, what is taking place, then that's super wonderful. What Gurudev see, sees when he's composing the Arati to Srila Guru Maharaj, after Shila, shortly after Srila Guru Maharaj's dis disappearance, 
So what he sees is taking place in the mat and you know, the, the aspiration of the devotees. And Guru Maharaj, and what did Guru Mahar see? In his Saraswat Arati that he made for the, de the um, deities of Navadip in particular, Shishi Guru, Goranga, Gandhava, Govinda, Sunda, then Srila Guru Maharaj composed the Arati for the, the deities there and giving glorification to the devotees and to the deities there in Chaitanya Sarasat Mat. So the, the, you can say, hallmark, one of the hallmarks of Guru Maharaj was to be very cautious about the high subject matters. And I read somewhere while, today itself, while, while kind of searching a little bit, the Srila Guru, the Srila Gurudev was saying, and I don't think it is in the part that Devashish Bhu read just now, it was in another part of that same chapter, uh, where Srila Gurudev said that uh, if we become attached to mundane sound, then we will be something, I don't remember, I don't want to make a quote of the exact word, but it'll be our misfortune. But if we can be at attracted to divine sound, it will be our fortune. So we have this like super divine sound of Krishna's flute. And I see that there is a question in the chat, David Shishpu. Oh, yes, it's in Russian. <laughs> but it's being quoted by, uh, sorry, translated by Odaran Prabhu. And it's from Lilavati Devadasi, and she's Russian, and she's in Russian speaking, and she's in uh, Israel. Did I understand correctly that there is a Morali flute and that there is a Gayatri flute? Or is Gayatri the melody itself? My obeisances to the dear Maharajis and devotees. Yes, Devashish Prabhu. Uh, well, now we're going into ter Leela territory. Um, but yes, the I mean, Krishna has, generally it's said that Krishna has three fruits, Vangsi, Morali, and uh, uh, Venu. These are the three fru flutes of Krishna. And uh, But the Gayatri that we can say, when Krishna plays any of those flutes that is that uh, is coming to us as the Gayatri mantra, and some places told the Sankirtan of Mahaprabhu Chaitanya Dev, that's also non-different with the flute song of Lord Krishna, considered to be the same, not different in any in any way, but simultaneously one and different, of course, but. Uh, Yes, it's told like that, you know, and in a very simple way, we can say it's also been expressed. You can say almost for, for for us as children that when Krishna plays his flute, he plays Radha, Radha, Radha. So, in a in a simplified way, we can say that. But but Guru Maharaj has explained very, um, very strongly and deeply and uh, clearly that Krishna's flute doesn't play anything except the glorification of Srimati Radharani. So whatever is coming from the flute of Krishna, that's the glorification of Srimati Radharani. And that sometimes is told is coming as the Gayatri Mantra. Is the Gayatri Mantra? Is that? And Gayatri Mantra is the mother of the Vedas. And the, that means that, that um, so Srila Guru Maharaj, uh, un understanding that, he said then the, the meaning of the Gayatri Mantra must be in line with Srimad Bhagavatam. It can't be, as some sections say, a meditation on the sun god. Some people say the Gayatri Mantra is that. But Srila Guru Maharaj just said that where it says, mentions the Surja in there, that, that's a metaphor that um, for... For Lord Krishna, that 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 in this world, all every we see everything by the light of uh, the sun. But that what that really means is is that uh, that we see everything by 
the power of Krishna, by Krishna's grace, you can say. So Krishna is the origin of everything, of our sight, of our understanding, of our everything. And so he's also the origin of uh, the Veda. And the Veda is the, uh, you can say, expanded form of the Gayatri Mantra. And the Gayatri Mantra is the uh, meaning of the condensed meaning of Srimad Bhagavatam. So the whole, Srila, Mahaprabhu considered that the whole of Srimad Bhagavatam is the expanded commentary on the Gayatri Mantra. It is the real meaning of the Gayatri Mantra is Srimad Bhagavatam. And so the Gayatri Mantra must be um, in the line of Srimad Bhagavatam. It can't mean anything other than that. So it is it is both metaphorically the the sound of Krishna's flute and actually the sound of Krishna's flute, because all knowledge was imparted to Lord Brahma through that flute song of Krishna, as Maharaj rightly said. Um, Lord Brahma was initiated through the sound of Krishna's flute, and through that, he got the impetus to do everything. And included in that, um, as well as, you know, engineering the creation of the known worlds to us, included in that was his own prayers to Lord Krishna in the form of Brahma Sangita, which Mahaprabhu discovered in South India and loved dearly. And we have uh, access to that, of course. And that that very clearly explains Krishna consciousness it is all there. In once Srila, Srila Guru Maharaj said that Brahma Sangeeta is Goloka Brindavan in the form of a book. Uh, if you're able to uh, have that kind of understanding. And, and and also some scholars they say that uh that um it so closely fits the philosophy of Sri Chaitanya Dev that that they said, we think it's actually written by him, those scholars say. And, and Guru Maharaj commented on that, or actually quoting Bhaktivinoda Thakur said, if it only were the work of Mahaprabhu, that would be greater for us than if it were that. But it is actually coming from the lotus mouth of Lord Brahma himself. So, And yes, of course, it fits exactly with Mahaprabhu's um, philosophy or Mahaprabhu's uh, revelation to the world because it is one and the same thing. Krishna consciousness, Ishwara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadi Radir Govinda Sarva Karana Karanam. If you know that, you can understand what is Krishna consciousness. That uh, Krishna is the Parameshwara, the supreme enjoyer of everything. And he is Satchidananda Vigraha, the very embodiment of truth, consciousness, and bliss. Anadi Radhi Govinda, and he, he is the original cowherd boy of Vrindavan. Sarva Karana Karanam. And that means he's the cause of all causes. Everything he, that is in existence, he's the cause of that. Now, you know, sometimes children ask their parents, if God created everything, who created God? Then this is the answer to that. He is the creator of everything, including himself. But this is something outside of time and space. It isn't that once upon a time there was no Krishna, then he created himself, and there, now there is a Krishna. No, forever he's existed, and forever he will exist, beyond time and space. That's a that's a, a, almost impossible for us to conceive, but we can understand, at least a little bit philosophically, that um, there are things beyond time and space, and we may not be able to conceive of them. That's why Mahaprabhu's teaching is called Achinta Veda Veda Prakash, that uh, inconceivable oneness and difference with everything. So, yes, um, Krishna's flute is called Murali, one flute. Another is called Venu, and another is called Vangsi, that we heard from various sources, Guru Maharaj and others.
But um, as Marge said, we're not able really to give any commentary on those things because those are things that are existing outside of our purview. If only, we only hear about those things if you, you know, you may hear that if you read the Krishna book or something like that describing the pastimes of Krishna when he was here on earth. Srila Prabhupada presented that in a very safe way for all the devotees to be able to uh, familiarize themselves with Krishna Leela. And it is very, very beautiful if you have time. Uh, very nice to read um, that Krishna book. Beautiful. And um, I think it's essential reading for all the devotees. All right. <laughs> That's, I think that answers, I hope that answers the question. I can add, I can add something, only I'm going to add a flute, that's all. <laughs> and that is, there is, I don't remember lots of things, but sometimes things do stay in my memory and they jump out when I hear them because I, I, I know, I mean, Krishna Kant is not limited to anything, but I do know that he does have a flute and maybe it's a little secret because not everybody knows, but I happen to know its name is Mahananda. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it jumped out at me and I remembered that he does have a flute called Mahananda. And just on this point, David Shish was saying about like essential reading, and I 100% agree that every devotee really should read the Krishna book of Srila Prabhupada from beginning to end, because there so many of the leelas we hear about are there. And as Srila Goswami Maharaj, you know, pointed out, he said that Srila Prabhupada has actually given us cantos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in the Krishna books because he's given us very carefully what he, who is Krishna and then what is his leela. And that care of uh, presenting Krishna leela so we don't mistake it for this world, this was the very purpose of the very of the first nine cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam. So you know, don't think, oh no, I have to go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine before I get there. Because it will take you a long, long time. I know. We've read those books, but they've taken us a long time. But the Krishna books, if we come there, Srila Prabhupada himself gave the Krishna books. Uh, so that the uh, Leela would be available for everybody. And of course, he didn't know how long he will live. He was 69, I think, when he went to the West. And then you see people who are 69, they know they're 69 and you know, anything can happen anytime. And he gave those Krishna books because it was very much needed that they will be properly presented for the world to hear. And but and, and another, I can just add to another kind of essential reading on this subject matter is uh, where David Shishwa has been reading from today. But there's a, a full chapter called The Transcendental Flute. If I've got it right. The Transcendental Flute of uh, Krishna. Krishna's Transcendental Flute. I'll get its exact title in a second. But the whole chapter is a wonderful description. It's Krishna's Transcendental Flute is the chapter title, chapter three, in the second part of the book, um, Religion of the Heart. And so on this subject matter, it's just something which we can read and go through slowly and respectfully uh, to get you know, additional light from Srila Gurudev um, included with, with the uh, quote that was read today and other quotations from the Srimad Bhagavatam and perhaps other places there too, uh, chanting the glories of Krishna's flute. More yeah. essential reading, yes. And coming back to Italy, then the devotees, by the way, finished reading Brihat Bhagavatam Ritam just before I left to go to London. And so I didn't know what book they're going to read next. How can you follow Brihad Bhagavatam Ritam? And baby, what are they reading? They're reading Brahma Sanghita. Mm -hmm. David Shifu pointing out to a Brahma Sanghita. So we have now 
the reading of Brahma Sanghita taking place in the evening, along with one other book, as we always try to do. We try to keep scripture and Gurudev, scripture and Guru Maharaj. They're all inseparable. Hare Maharaj, Krishna. Ask a quick question, Maharaj. Yes. Uh, uh, I didn't understand very well the correlation between the Om sound and the Gayatri mantra. Okay, I think this is best for Devashish Prabhu also to answer. Uh, because it is in, I mean, in my understanding, it's all amazing. And I mean, I can say from my understanding is that Om is the original sound and expanded from that is the Gayatri. Expanded from the Gayatri is Srimad Bhagavatam. And expanded from all of these, we've got the by the way, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, which is all Radha Krishna centered, just as we heard that the flute sound is all centered on Radha, and obviously Radha Krishna. We don't worship Radha alone, also. <coughs> so, anyhow, in a brief way, that's my understanding, and it's a little bit out of my pay grade, but within <laughs> Devashish Prabhu's pay grade, because no, of expansion. No, it's actually perfectly right what you what you said. That's exactly right. But uh, the syllables of Om, uh, U, Om. Now that means Radha, Krishna, and all the living beings. All of creation is in, included within the, the word Om, the vibration Om. And, and then, as you said, from that, expanded from that, from Om is the Gayatri Mantra and expanded from the Gayatri Mantra, Sriman Bhagavatam, and so on. So then this is uh, um, the seed, if you like. Om is the seed, but it's not an, not just an impersonal vibration. The Vaishnavas uh, uh, understand that it represents Radha, Krishna, and all of the whole of creation uh, in connection with that. So, um, yeah, that's how it's how it's given like that but um it is it is something very mystical and magical and uh um not just uh, uh something that looks good on a t-shirt <laughs> we had a devotee, we had a devotee in nabadeep and he started sitting cross-legged and chanting home oh, and you know like loud and long om and gurudev disapproved the point being that we so i'm only mentioning this that you know what are we chanting what we will chant will is what we are initiated into mm -hmm. and so we are initiated into the hare krishna maha mantra we are initiated into the gayatri mantras and so there are, uh, but also it is written there, the, the glories of Om. But then if we now think, oh, yes, yeah, so now I'll chant Om. This is also uh, not approved by Gurudev. We can't say it is illegal to chant Om, etc. <laughs> <laughs> because the glorification is there. But we are chanting in the way that's been given to us by Gurudev. Who's giving us how Guru Maharaj gave? Guru Maharaj is giving how Srila Sarasati Thakur gave. And Srila Sarasati Thakur is unquestionably giving how Rupa Goswami gave. He's giving unquestionably how Mahaprabhu gave. So we also don't, uh, I mean, just in case, you know, we hear that, that oh, the whole seed is on, then, you know, we might be then thinking we can sit in a field or something and chant on. But we will carefully follow, following in the footsteps of the previous acharyas. And it's not that we pick and choose acharyas. We've got our place where we've got the standard for continuing spiritual life. So just a little footnote in that regard. And there are many things when we read Bhagavatam, there are many um, mantras which are there, you know, protective shields and this, that and the other. 
but also disapprove to chant those independently that, oh, if we do this every day, then we'll get some result. We'll do service, which and Seva is doing what um, Gurudev has basically asked us to do. So, anyway, lots of super things, but the super est is what's come from the lotus lips of Guru Marsh and Gurudev. So, just a little footnote on that. Yeah. Perfect. Nice to see a full temple room. Everyone's come home. A full temple room in East, in West London. It's nice to see a full temple room in East London too. <laughs> smiling faces. Look at all the smiling faces. And just so you know, Italy is colder than London. <laughs> I came back and I put on a sweater underneath the coat. So sunny London. I don't know if it's sunny today, but here it was a little chilly and rainy. Surprise, surprise. What's happened to the world? All right, dear devotees. By the way, I'm seeing everyone's names. Lots and lots of devotees here. I'm feeling purified by reading your names, by seeing your names. And it's a joy to be with you all. David Shishwam. Jayam Vishnupad Shilabhakti. Sunna Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj ki jai. Jai Vishnupad Shilabhakti Rakak Shida Dev Goswami Maharaj ki jai. Jai Shilesi Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada ki jai. Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasdi Thakur ki jai. Rupa Nuga Guru Bhagya ki jai. Jai Sri Chaitanya Sarasata Acharya Brinda ki jai. Srila Bhakti Ranjan Madhusudan Maharaj ki jai. All the assembled devotees ki jai. All the world devotees ki jai. Harinam Sankirtan ki jai. Netai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Bhav. And Jai Shabbat Devashish Prabhu Ki Jai and all our exalted devotees, international gathering here, Ki Jai. And Kaushalya Devidasi is with us and she may not know, she brought much joy to many people in India when they're telling, telling about Kaushalya and this, that and the other and their local devotees in Chaitanya Sarasat Mahas, many of them are the same devotees that were there. They're all so happy to hear about Kaushalya. She's now all grown up. Were you on the video? Did you speak with them? Yes, okay, that's why they were so bubbly to see Kaushalya. The same Kaushalya, but now tall size instead of half size <laughs> in Latvia. All right, dear devotees, have a successful week in Seva. We'll meet again soon. Vancha kalpatarubhis cha, kripa sindhubhya eva cha, patitan bhavanebhyo, vaishnavebhyo, to each of you, one by one by one, happily obeisances and best wishes from me.